and welcome to another edition of Bricklayers TV. It's been a while, a few things have happened, Super Trail's been and gone, um, and now we are graced with an all new trail to hit the UK market for Bricklaying. It's been a while since the trail's come on the market. I think the most recent one would probably be between Bond and the Ox Trail to have uh, come and hit the market. So this is the all new Kokora. Um, this is the narrow London uh, cork handle uh, in 10 inch. Now, initial looks at it is it looks like a very nice trail. Um, it's got their like, Japanese writing stamp there. I don't know how long that's going to last. I shouldn't imagine it'll last too long because it's only printed on there. Um, if you just get a pair of scissors, I should imagine it. Yeah, that's gone. Um, so it's not going to take too long for that to last. It looks like it's got that um, lacquer on there. A um, couple of nice little features on it is this Kokoro um, uh, etched end cap. It's quite cool, it's quite smart. Probably not for me because there's nothing worse than hearing bricklayers tapping away at bricks. And for it to have a metal end cap, it's just going to be a nightmare. Um, initially picking it up, it's quite a girthy handle. Um, I have messaged it, messaged, messaged. I have measured this, and it came out at thirty-six millimeters, I believe. Let's just double check this. It's about the widest point. It's thirty-seven, thirty-six point seven six. Call it thirty-seven mil for argument's sake. Um, it's quite thick. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy, but uh, let's get the scales out, let's give it a weigh, and that weighs 455 grams. So, to give that, give you an idea, so let's for, check it again, 456 now, before we've got 455. This is the Marshall Town 10 inch, you can just about see it in there, that's a 3310, so narrow London 10 inch. Durasoft handle weighs 410 grams. It's 50 grams lighter. Um, but we'll come back to the Marshall Town later on. Now, let's take a look at the thickness of the blade. So, we'll zero that up, open it up. There we go. So, 0 0.62 on there. You can, or 2.63. Um, that's on the tip and then right on the heel we've got 1.3 millimeters it's not it doesn't look a bad trowel i mean there's not a lot of flex in that by any means it's quite a rigid trowel that probably explains why it's a bit heavier that 50 grams in there that could be in the handle that could be in the blade um this cork handle doesn't look that bad to be honest it's a little bit more detailed in the cork compared to the, the Marshalltown cork trowel, which is, that's what the Marshalltown cork handle's like. It's, I'd say, a little bit less corky compared to that. I know there's colour in this one and not in that, but there's more cork for sure. Um, so that is your Kokora trowel. So we shall see how it goes against your Marshalltown. Bond tool and the W rows. So these are all 10 inch trails, slightly different handles. They've all got slightly different pitches on the handle heights. So we'll have a look. I'll start off by measuring the uh, handle on the Marshall Town because that was what was quite considerably noticeable for me on the Kokora was the handle was quite thick. Um, so that's 37. This is 33. So that's almost like 10% smaller. Um, but what I can notice, I don't know if you guys can notice, is the pitch on that handle. I don't know if you can notice that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure it. So... 
I'm gonna measure it from the highest point on the trail. So the highest point there, I've got 71 mil. On the Marshall Town, we have got what looks to be 84 millimeters. So there is there's a good difference in the, the pitch on these two trails. Um, now, let's take a look at the weight on the Marshall Town. So we've got 455, and now we've got 4, 411, same again. So it is, it is 40, 50 grams lighter. Thickness of that blade. So it's a little bit thinner than the Kokoro, both on the tip and on the heel, which again would explain why it's lighter. Um, but there's just that bit more flex in this, which I prefer, and it's a little lighter. Go on to the Bond tool. Um, noticeably with these, the handles are a lot um, thinner. Um, 33 so 37 mil 33 mil and this is 30 so again even smaller but what i've noticed with the bond uh trowel is that you it projects further forward so you've got a little bit more space between where your hands hold in the trowel and where your muck is if you look at the comparison there between the bond and the marshall town it just sits that little further back um You've got a bit more of this tang exposed compared to most trails. You don't see that or feel it, so you get your hand right up against that tang and hold it. Whereas with the bond, you'd find you you can't do that. Um, let's have a way of the bond trail. So four thirty three. So it's only twenty grams heavier than the Marshall Town Trail. But then that would explain because the handle's slightly thinner. I know it's a different composition. Let's check the blade thickness. So 80, so it's very similar to the Marshall Town. On the hill, 1.2 mil. So again, very similar to the Marshall Town. They're not far between each other. Um, and then it's, I suppose this is the next competitor. This is the W Rose. Um, Everyone loves a rose. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people like rose. I think it's just because they are all handmade. This is the leather handle. Let's take a look at the, the thickness of the handle. So the handle of this is 33.5. So it's near on par with Marshall Town. So 33.1. Oh, no, 30. Where have I gone there? Yes, the middle. So yeah, thirty-three. So Marshall Town and Rose handles are exactly the same in thickness. Lesson learned there. Um, now weight. Let's have a look at the weight on this. Four hundred and thirty-three grams exactly. So it weighs exactly the same weight as a Bond trowel. Same handle as a Marshall Town. Let's check the thickness. One millimetre at the tip, from almost two mil on the heel. So it's actually a bit thicker. So that would be more suited to breaking brick, cutting bricks with, opposed to your, your Marshall Town, which is a bit thinner. I don't know if you can see it, but there's quite a considerable difference in thickness there. Um, now, price wise, so your Marshall Town, 53.95 is pretty much the going rate for that. Your Bond trail, forty nine ninety five. Uh, these are all including VAT. I don't know about postage, so let's call it fifty quid there. W Rose, bit more expensive. I mean, these are retailing at about sixty seven pounds for a leather handle. Um, probably slightly cheaper if it's wooden or plastic, or they're like Dura soft kind of style one. Uh, you have got the Marshall Town plastic as well, so they, they vary typically on the handle. But on the whole, the blade stays exactly the same. 
And then as for the new Kokoro trail, this is ranging from anywhere between £45.60 and £57, which I just found on eBay. Now that will depend on vary on size, different handles, they do a leather style. So you've got four of the market leaders there. Well, three market leaders. W Rose, Bon, and Marshall Town. Now, I don't have anyone else's trail here, I don't think, that I could show you that's uh, in the game. No. The only other trail I could probably show you that's on the market is the Nella Trail. This is a 10-inch Narrow London. So, Britain and Trail, Narrow London, 10-inch cork handle, as you can see. Slightly different pattern. So, this is the broad hill, so to speak. This is the broader, and that's round. So a broad hill, narrow London, and then you've got the rounder edge. This is probably typically more of a European narrow London. Uh, I mean, Nella is German. And then have got this slightly different handle. Um, but to give you an idea, let's give that away as well. These aren't very common by any means. 340 grams. So it is nearly 100 grams lighter than the Kokoro Trail. So if you're using that all day long, it's 100 grams lighter. It's going to be a bit nicer on the elbow and on the forearm. Um, these are made in Germany. So that is that. Now that Nella Trail, I want to say it was about 30-ish pounds. Um, now we'll move on. Kokora trail. It has been out for what two or three weeks now. It's it's the newest trail on the market. But but I stumbled across another trail which looks exactly the same. Now this is called a Regal and Barnes trail. This is the leather handle, they only do a leather handle. Um, this leather handle is exactly the same as the Kokora trail. And I'm just going to give you a close-up so you can see the, the difference between these two trails. Now, they both have the exact same end cap. One's got Kokora in it, one's got Riglan Barnes. As you can see here, they're exactly the same style um, on the edge. So they, they are the same handle. They're also the same weight they're the same height so 71 mil uh down to 35 mil 71 mil down to 35 mil and then we'll weigh it so this is the regal and barnes trail this weighs 440 grams and now we'll weigh the Kokora narrow london again 457 so this is actually a little bit heavier but they are thickness exactly the same. Um, what have I got there? 1.04. They are pretty much exactly the same thickness. If I measure that right on the tip. 70, 0.75. Go right on the tip here. 0.82. So micromillimetres and then we're gone here 1.13 1.47 so that's just thicker the, both these trails the handles they as from what I understand they're made in a very similar place uh in Poland now there is slight different differences between the two of these it is where the tang meets the blade. This one is slight. This the core is slightly more refined, whereas this isn't. Now this trail was on the market for twenty eight pounds sixty eight. Now since I've released my video, that I'm going to release a video, this price has now gone up to, I think thirty eight pounds. So they've added ten pound onto it all of a sudden. Not sure why. Um, I'll put a picture of what I paid for it literally like three or four days ago. Uh, Regal and Barnes, Forge Brick 10-inch Trail London leather handle. 
Now, I'm not saying that this is the same trail because it's not the same trail, but I am most definitely telling you this is the same handle and they're both made in the same factory. Now, the Kokora has obviously had some sort of development on it. It's been refined ever so slightly. That's fine. But what I do find very strange is if you look at these two trails, they are near on identical in tang, the whole, the whole lot, even the cut of the pattern. Like near, they are identical, identically cut, which is a bit of a strange coincidence. Considering, look, you look at that. I'm fairly confident they're near enough the same trail as well. So, is it another white label product? I think it is. Unfortunately, I think this Kukura, Nella, uh, Regal, and Barnes. I feel like they're all from the very same, from a similar factory. Just looking at the markings of where they've been grinded down once to, to get them finished off, you probably can't see it in this video, but the lines, the, the, the scratches from the grinder, they're all pretty much exactly the same there. They're near on identical. So that's that really. I mean, that is, that is a fleet of 10 inch narrow landings that are on the market at the moment. Regal and Barnes, Nella, Kokora, W Rose, Bon, and Marshall Town. Now, the only one with the highest lift on it is the Marshall Town. The rest of these are pretty much the same. They really, they are far and few between. But as I've said in my previous videos, trails are down to your own preference. Um, if you want something quite light and versatile, I'd say the Bond Trail. It's light, it's flexible, it's quite well made. Um, they're made in Slovakia or Slovenia, something like that. Marshall Town's Marshall Town. It's a it's a well known brand. We know we know it's a solid trail. Um, well made USA. Sam W Rose. These have been around forever and a day. Handmade, you can just tell when you look at them, they're, they're slight imperfections in them. But they're a good trail. More developed for um, people that like a lower lift. Nella trail, uh, hardly ever used. Um, it's a bit strange that it's kind of got like a, a, co a pin hole to hold it up with. The trail's quite unique. It doesn't hold too bad. And it's got a very similar lift on it, as you can see. If not, it's probably got a similar lift to the rose. Um, again, it's quite a cheap trail. And then you've got the Kokora and the Regal and Barnes trail. I mean, these trails in the lift, thickness, the weight. I mean, the Kokora is slightly heavier, but that could be just because the blade is slightly bigger. But on the whole... Regal and Barnes is, is what it is. It's, it was a cheap trail up until about 48 hours ago. Um, and this is the Kokora. But for me, it's it's handles too thick. There's not there's next to no flex in it. Um, and I think it's probably a little bit overpriced. Um, going in at 45, 59. Um, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. But that is the review of the Cora and the five other leading trails on the market.